Influencer boxing is strange. It's weird. There's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of different opinions from both the inside, outside, the actual boxing world, the creators themselves. It's an interesting space and it's developing quickly. In the influencer boxing space, you have two to three main players. You have Creator Clash. This is an event I went to and it was very nice. I had a good time. I think it went smoothly. I think this probably does a pretty good job of being somewhere in the middle of giving the creators enough time to train to be like somewhat amateur. It's not, you know, bar stools, drunken bash where they just get two frat guys to go at each other, which is also a great watch. Don't get me wrong. Aidas versus Shizat the Plum Rizat. Oh, Shizat is gone. Oh! But it does a decent job. Now, my criticisms is probably some of the matchups aren't great. I think they had that issue last year. And then this year, I mean, this replacement that they had for Froggy Fresh was like six times the size of Chris Raygun. There's some matchups that weren't great. I think even Abelina Sabrina and her matchup were like a 10 to 15 pound weight difference. But besides that, they seem to do a decent job of respecting the sport. So you have Creator Clash, okay? That's one of a few others in the space. You also have, I guess, coming up is Happy Punch. I don't even think they've had their first fucking fight yet. This is Happy Punch. Keemstar owns it with, what's that weird guy name that thought he was Drake for a second? Fousey Tube, where he just was shirtless on that car. I don't know. I guess he's had a comeback and he owns a boxing thing now. I guess their first, I think it's like a prelim fight or something. I mean, this this graphic's awful. I can't even see who's on it. I don't even know if this is real graphics, like Sign Gideon. Is he even fighting? I show speed. Is that real? I got no fucking idea. I think Keemstar will just say anyone's fighting. He even put out that tweet saying Boogie and Wings of Redemption are fighting. I don't know. I think it's all a meme. I got fucking no idea. But the, the organization is real and they should be a player soon, I think. And then you have that other one that I don't have pulled up. What's that one called? Social Gloves. What the fuck was that company? What was that pyramid scheme? You had Social Gloves as well, which it just sounds like a shell company that was made just for that event to be disposed of immediately. The whole memes that came out of that fight were great as well. I'm gonna knock out Austin because I'm an actual fighter. <laughs> I'm not a boxer. I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. And then you got one more player on the scene. The last player we have is Misfits. And this player is probably the most, I would say, respected. This is their sixth card. It just happened over the weekend. And this is owned by some people I don't really know, but also KSI. It's probably the most respected because whereas Creator Clash is like goofy, nerdy creators, this at least has people that are like conditioned that want to be boxers, it seems like. But that's what I thought until this weekend happened. What happened this weekend has disgraced the name of influencer boxing. If you could believe it wasn't already disgraced, but we finally did it. We besmirched the name all the way to the ground. What happened this weekend? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Here is a fight that happened this weekend. So you can't do that. <laughs> Not allowed to do that. The man is down, pretty much knocked out. And he went for a flurry attack, Mortal Kombat style, for like seven more punches. This guy is past the fuck out at this point. Let me let me just finish him off. Now, this is half the ref's fault, too. The ref should have been there immediately. But also, in the sport of boxing, you're not supposed to do that. It's very clear this man's on the ground. This is in between rounds. Oh, God, it's so hard to watch. People didn't like this. And you know what the funnier part is? Is that this guy doubled down right after this and starts celebrating in the most spectacular way. <laughs> So he's still celebrating. Goes for the old arrow, green arrow attack. Just for good measure after, you know, slump the fucking guy. And the other guy's team is coming in to pretty much attack him. We can't have he's this. All confused. We cannot have this. Hey, chase the more though, man. That is as low as you can get. Punching a man in his face. It is fucking bad. Right. 
and even the announcers are like, yeah, get him. Take him out. I get it. Fight for sure. Free Brandon Hughes has called for a stoppage at two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round for your winner by disqualification, Stevie Knight. So. Well, he's not happy about it. Chase DeMore says I'm sorry, which is good to see. So they ended up disqualifying Chase DeMore after that. Good call, Stevie Knight, and take the dub and the brain damage on the way out. So that happened. Now, Chase DeMore, oh, Ch Chase DeMore, does that sound familiar? Honestly, not really. Now, how does this intersect with the world of Gunner TV? <laughs> Guys, Chase DeMore. Ooh. Oh no, it's Chase. Plays games and sports. <laughs> That's his fucking line, plays games and sports. Okay. This is the same Chase. And I liked Chase back then. Well, I liked Chase at first. I said he was the only one with Riz on that show, which is true. And then Chase became male Francesca is what happened on that show. I thought that was hilarious that these worlds intersect. So that's who we're talking about now, if that gives you a little bit more perspective. He's a reality TV show star. So here's where we're at so far, okay? There's more to the story. So... Chase has basically besmirched, belittled, and taken credibility away from the influencer boxing space, a space that did not have much credibility to begin with. And it's hard to draw a straight line to why he would do this. You know, you look at his first fight. This is his second fight now. This was his first fight. And I think it was mainly trying to overcome how bad the first fight looked. Look at this crap. This was his fight back he really in spit out his mouthpiece. September. He spit out his mouthpiece <laughs> to get extra time multiple times in this fight, which is a, just a straight up coward's move. It's like, give him his mouthpiece back again. I've never even heard that strategy. If that's a strategy, that's kind of crazy. Did you spit out your mouthpiece and just get pulled to the side? Is that a thing? <laughs> He's literally. <laughs> okay, even the announcer was saying he did not want to go back in there. Now he's getting dog walked again. They grabbed him. Trying to conserve more time. He's trying to grab him again. Now he's faking like he got hit in the back of the head. Now he's going to over exaggerate it. Bro, like, there's just certain people who just don't belong in fighting arts. <laughs> It kind of called it. Like, you can get away with that in basketball, but no, you're not getting away with that in boxing, bro. All right, so now check this crap out. All right, here it is. I don't know what that punch was or what that I wish was. this fucking giant text wasn't over it. I kind of want to see the worst boxer in history because that was hilarious. Fuck. F fuck. <laughs> Arm movements. Flail the arms. Now check this crap out. I don't know what that punch was or what that punch was. Now look at this crap. <laughs> Bro, what the frick was that? The old, the old overhand swat. I like that one. <laughs> he spits out his mouth guard. Pit, spits it out again. And then he quits on his stool looking like he's seen a ghost. Bro, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> so that was when the villain arc started and then this fucking shit of a fucking match happened Although he lost because he got disqualified. So he's 0-2 now. Here he is after the fight immediately I just I saw blood. I'm, I'm adrenaline. Like I said, I'm a natural born killer. I'm a champion. I'm a gladiator I'm the greatest it ever has been ever will be you know, I said like I saw Greg Hardy I saw Tyson Fury. I saw Deontay Wilder when I was knocking him out I was just throwing punches and you know, I saw every single comment every single pull I saw every single miss swing every video that's ever been memed of me i saw i saw it i was fighting them like they tell me i'm fighting my demons i think it's safe to say the demon's been slain and uh demons have been put to bed bro you got dq'd for almost killing a man what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy triple down. He has tripled down now on the fact that it was cool. He just has that Mike Tyson in him. We just saw your last fight two months ago. You're going to say you got that Mike Tyson in you now for this shit. Now you're fucking pummeling a man almost to death illegally. You got DQ'd for a reason. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Regardless, it's so funny to see the perfect match persona of Chase that we're familiar with on this channel of him being a bombastic douchebag and now him doing it again 
men, but this time in a context of significantly almost harming a man. Okay, whatever. So we got all this out of the way. What happened immediately after was a brawl in the streets. <laughs> Nate Diaz, who I'm not very familiar with, but I believe is an ex-MMA guy, attacked his team and Chase in the streets because he thinks it's a disgrace to the sport. Fair. I'm not saying it's fair to attack a man. I get the outrage. Oh, yeah. So he's attacking their team. I believe Chase is somewhere in the back here. That is Nate Diaz putting a chokehold on. And if you read the tweets, they say Logan Paul. That's not Logan Paul, though. Every fucking Twitter account got this wrong. This is the Logan Paul doppelganger. This is like the one guy on TikTok who just looks like <laughs> Logan Paul. And that's all he's known for. This guy. Meeting my doppelganger for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, that's nuts. That's this guy. <laughs> I see how you could be confused at a glance. You're me, dude. <laughs> I do. I do. No, I do. Nuts. He's like more like a... <laughs> more like a redneck Logan Paul. Can I say that? More like a hillbilly Logan Paul. I feel like one of those was more offensive than the other, and I don't know which one was. Which one of those can I not say? So I don't know why the fuck he's there or why he's on Chase Damore's side. I imagine if you're aligning with Chase Damore, you're just kind of also cloud chasing like he seems to be. I don't know. And he goes down. He's down. Not the fuck out. Uh, trigger warning blood. Yeah, yeah. So... Nate Diaz, turn around. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nate Diaz. That guy could sue Nate Diaz. So this has been a fucking fiasco, all because fucking Chase Moore from Perfect Match tried to kill a man after he was down. Here is him responding to Nate Diaz jumping him. Messages for Nate Diaz and all his boys. As you can see, so I guess he you guys got finally put some damage on me. Didn't take any damage in any of my boxing matches, and you guys had to jump me in New Orleans. All of you guys who are in the UFC and MMA fighters, and you know, I had to fight your whole team off. You and your crew are the softest boys. All those kids on your team, I don't know how they are in the UFC or how they have any sort of winning record. You guys have pillows for hands, soft toilet paper for hands. You guys are a bunch of wipes, bro. I'm just gonna stop right there. We're halfway through. Dude, it's impossible to still be taking like the trash talking route here and not acknowledge your own faults. It's so tone deaf. It's terrible. Acknowledge why people were pissed off at least, please. It just goes into the void if you don't acknowledge why people want to kill you <laughs> because you almost killed another man because <laughs> it really is dangerous you're on the ground like that you're unconscious if you take fucking six more full punches to the face on the ground it could cause severe injury i mean i get why people are upset again don't attack a man in the streets i would be upset if i was him too but it's general animosity you got to respond to both jake paul unalive you um, August, whenever you guys are fighting, because bro, like I'll be there and I'll be there to handle all your goons too, just in case they get out of line. Nate, if you're watching this, bro, get yourself locked in a cage with me for five minutes, bro. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I'll kill you if you're not looking and you happen to be sleeping. I will come over and unleash a flurry of punches on your sleeping body. I'm going to show you what that 40 pound difference feels like, bro. You're soft. Jake. Chase Demore, zero and two. <laughs> I'll kill you, dude. Again, dude, not cool for Nate Diaz to attack Chase the Bill of the Streets, but like, Chase, come on, man. Acknowledge why people are upset. This is the guy who we actually knocked out, Stevie Knight. He posted this today. Oh, hit me again. And that one really took me out. And then all this. Oh, this is rough. This is rough to get through, bro. Jesus. And then. <laughs> He's having Chase PTSD. The, <laughs> Sorry. Dude. This is sad to watch, actually. <laughs> he is not having a good time watching this. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Shout out to my team jumping in there. We I'm can up, have this. I, I'm wobbly as shit. We cannot right. have this. This motherfucker tried to hey, hurt me. Okay. You guys say you have problems with my mic audio and volumes. I cannot hear what Stevie Knight is saying, but it sounds upset. It was the shot to the temple that put me down. The, if the ref had stopped Chase when he did, I would have got the eight count. 
Like, he got him. That's the other thing, too, I didn't even think about. If the ref was actually a good ref, because the ref also sucks, don't get me wrong. The ref stopped him when he's on the ground. That gives Stevie Knight the eight count, and he could get back, and they could have a fair fight. One thing I felt like I did wrong as far as the fight, I got caught slipping. Like I said, I don't know why when I heard the... I just stopped. I let my foot off the gas. And I know how that shit fucking looks. <laughs> I know how it looks, bro. Um... I wish they hadn't a DQ the motherfucker so I could continue the fight, got reset and went back to boxing, bro. So I would have been all right. I'm a better boxer than that motherfucker, right? My, my coach would have So he's me. blaming the ref. But it also reflects entirely on fucking, actually, fuck me. I'm not going to say our influencer boxing space. Fuck this. Their influencer boxing space. I'm not part of any of this, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this does reflect badly entirely on the influencer boxing space in general. It reflects badly on the people that partake in it, like Chase Damore, who clearly just want the clout. They want to do the extravagant stuff, but they don't want to worry for people's safety. And it looks bad on Misfits, who has someone in the ring who clearly is not equipped enough to fucking call it and give the guy a count and stop them. Not that I fucking know shit, but I know enough to know that. So how am I going to leave this off? Uh, I want to leave off with Harley Morenstein, not just because he's a big fan of the channel and he might be watching right now because he asked for a picture with me at creator clash and like we're like best friends now and like you know you if we're in the youtube video right now you can just like put that picture on the screen real fast just like us being best friends or whatever no big deal but i was gonna leave off with a tweet from him because i think he summed up pretty much everything i've been talking about well what the fuck is going on here this is dumb this is outside the same event that a dude threw punches in the face of his grounded opponent Maybe I'm getting old, LMAO, but this is not the energy influencer boxing should have. We're going to ruin the entire thing this way. Edit. I know this isn't Logan, but this is the crowd from an influencer boxing event that night, which is true. Can everyone get their shit together? I enjoyed my time at Creator Clash, honestly, and it would be cool to have more boxing events and other events of sorts with other creators because I think it's a fun pastime. But God damn, Chase Damore, you were more of a douchebag than we all thought possible. That is Mogul Gunner. Be safe, kids. <laughs> I didn't have the use of it.